Okay, everyone. Very soon we are getting ION 7.3 update, so it's time to see which changes are coming to us with that new patch. Now. In today's video, I will show you five new things incoming to our servers with that new update. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to see more new videos in the future. Thank you for subscribing. So let's start with the first new thing of ION 7.3 update, and that are new sieges. Yes, you have heard good. We are getting two new sieges in ION 7.3, and that are sieges of Prades Fort and Siege of Garrison 81. In Siege of Prades Fort, you can participate three times per day, and in Siege of Garrison 81, you can participate five times per day. And entry rifts are on next locations on Red Catala map. Let me show you first entry location for Osmo faction. Let's open map, and as you can see, I am right now in, on the Red Catala map. And on the left upper corner of the map, you can see two kinds of rift. There is a blue rift, which only 24 players can enter. That is a rift uh, for a siege of base uh, 81. And there are four, we can say this is a red color or orange color, four rifts, and uh, each rift is also for 24 players. So overall, 96 players of one faction can enter uh, Siege of Prades 4. For uh, Ilios faction, entry point is on the right upper corner of the map. Also, there is a blue rift for 24 players for Siege of Base 81. And four rifts for uh, also overall 96 players to go to the Siege of Prades Fortress. I have already made a video regarding Siege of Base 81, so check. I'll put a link in the description below video uh, for that video. Check details regarding that uh, siege. Also, in the future, I will make a video regarding siege of the Prades Fortress. Anyway, guys, this is really interesting feature of ION 7.3. We are getting two more additional sieges. And like I said before, you can participate into these sieges a uh, few times per day. There are some new medals. Uh, implemented in ION 7.3 object, which you can get as a reward when you participate in uh, this siege. Of course, you need to win in this siege. That means you have to beat that other faction. And uh, with that medal, you can buy specific new uh, box, treasure box, I will show you, from which you can get some new interesting materials. Uh, so let's go now to the back to the Dumaha map. To show you guys that NPC first, I want to show you uh, that NPC where you can buy that new box for that new medals which you will be able to get in uh, Siege of Prades Fort and Siege of Base 81. New medal have a na name on uh, North America servers, it's uh, Ceramium Mark. You will see what name uh, those medals will have on uh, European servers when we get ION 7.3 update in Europe. And as you can see, in ION 7.3 update, we have three NPCs standing here on this position on the map. Let me show you where I'm standing right now. In ION 7.2 update, we have only these two NPCs. This is additional new NPC. And as you can see, you can buy from this NPC Ceramium treasure chest. In the chest, you can get uh, different things. I have seen also legendary enchantment stones inside, among other things. Still, we need to check what actually you can get. Uh, is it anything good inside this chest? Next thing, guys, which I want to talk with you about, that is the second new thing and really amazing thing coming to us with ION 7.3 update. I have to show you here. I will uh, click on my warehouse manager. And I will do that magical moment that uh, thing will happen. I will put Kinach in my account warehouse. As you can see, I don't have much Kinach. This is my new character on North America servers. I have made this character and level up this uh, Vandal painter class to level 80. Just to check ION 7.3 in advance. They have got uh, ION 7.3 update in North America a few weeks ago. So it, this is amazing opportunity to check this update in advance before it comes to us in Europe. Anyway, guys, you can see I have managed to put 1 million Kina in my account warehouse. And this is really important, really amazing thing, because from now on, from your alts, 
you will be able to transfer Kina to your main character or whichever character you want through account warehouse. No more uh, transferring Kina through, through broker, losing lots of Kina on taxes. It will be easy like this. But that's not the end of the story. Also, in account warehouse, we will be able to put fragments of fighting spirit. Yes, this is the moment that many people have waited for a long time. So basically all your fight, uh, fighting spirit fragment, here is the name on uh, North America servers, from your alts you will be able to put on your account warehouse and use on any character which you ever you want. This is really important because these fighting spirit fragments, you will need this uh, fragment to craft uh, many, uh, many things. You will also need for gear upgrade. So this is a huge and important thing. It's not the only thing which we will be able to put in account warehouse. Also in account warehouse, you will be able to put uh, enchantment stones, tradable ones, of course, which you can also put on broker. That one you can put also in account warehouse. Untradable, obviously not. Also, you will be able to put inside account warehouse uh, things like a craftable gear. That means that gear you can craft and put on broker. Also, you'll be able to put in account warehouse. And there is other items also on the list, but we can say that the most important things which we'll be able to put in account warehouse are absolutely Kinak, uh, Fragments of Fighting Spirit, and Enchantment Stones. This is a huge deal for everybody who have uh, more characters on one account, uh, because, of course, you're playing Ion events, and during that event, you are maybe getting some interesting items which you would like to transfer on your other characters. Now you will be able to put the, all these items and Kinak in account pairs. Next thing, guys, which is on my list, and that is the first thing on the list I have to show you here, which is a new thing we are getting in Ion Sam.3 update. I'm going to now to uh, click on my minion tab here, and I will show you here A grade minions, and of course, we are getting S grade minions. How to get S-grade minions? Very simple. All you need to do is to co combine minimum of two and maximum of four A-grade minions on level four. And there is a certain probability that you will get that S-grade minion. However, that's not the only thing we are getting regarding minions. Let me show you here. There is a new NPC standing, one for Ilios faction. This uh, NPC standing here. Let me mark it with one. And uh, let me show you location on the map. I am, as you can see, on uh, main square in Stelusia on Dumaha map. So this NPC is here, is entry point to the hidden minion warehouse. This is no a new solo PV instance, and it's really important because when you enter this instance and when you fight all the way to the end, on the end, as a reward, you can receive S grade minionite and A grade minionite. And we all know how much is that important in Ion Sam.3 update. If you want to get your S grade minion, you will need lots of A grade minionite and of course, of course S grade minionite later to upgrade that S grade uh, minion later. So this is entry point uh, for NPC for the Ilios faction. And I will show you here also on the other side, there is NPC. Is standing. I will mark it with two. Let's check now location of the map. As you can see, also this is entry point for hidden minion warehouse. Uh, probably that will be the name for European servers. We still don't, don't know for sure what will be the name. But here you can enter that solo PV instance. So guys, that is the first thing which we are actually getting. We are getting finally S great uh, minions and a new instance. Uh, called Hidden Minion Warehouse. Fourth thing, guys, I will show you when I open here first uh, cube, cubic system. Uh, the name of the cubic system on North America server is a little bit different. It's a cubic, it's not cubes, but basically it's all, all over the same. So we cannot actually say that we are getting completely new cube system, but we can ha say that this is kind of expansion of uh, already exi existing cube system which we already have in Ion Sand.2. So as you can see, there is lots of cubics, lots of cubes here, and uh, lots of different grades. And yeah, we are getting expansion of cube system in Ion Sand.3 update, and also we are getting new PV instance related to that. 
we can say new yeah at one point because if you remember let's say half year ago we already had this cubic lab gatekeeper that is uh, shugo name and you need to go to specific locations on uh, Dumaha map these locations are changing every now and then and as you can see there are a few points of entry to that uh, cubic laboratory and uh, half year ago uh, we had already this uh, cubic lab instance it's a solo PV instance where you enter and on the end as a reward you get cubes it is simple like that you can enter this instance seven times per week but what is really important cubes are not only for your character cubes are worth for all of your account so basically you can go on your alts on same account and do that uh, instance seven times per week on all your alts on your on your uh, entire account and on that way uh, all your cubes go together so this is really important you can do that instance on your alts and on the end guys a uh, fifth new thing uh, which i will say well it's not only one thing i will say it's uh, something skill related we are getting uh, skill changes for all classes we are getting dp divonium skills and we are getting perfect perfect stigmas now regarding dp divonium skills you can get them basically very simple by uh, fusing legendary skill books and that's it you should get new divonium dp skills Regarding perfect stigmas, a uh, situation is a little bit different. You need to enchant your normal stigma to plus 15. After you enchant your normal stigma to plus 15, you go to specific NPC and you exchange that stigma on plus 15 for perfect stigma. And then uh, you have, of course, perfect stigma have better attributes, better uh, stats than your normal stigma. So guys, as you can see, many new things in coming with us with, to ION 7.3 update. I was always thinking that ION 7.3 update is not so huge update. However, as you can see, there are lots of changes and lots of new interesting things coming to us with that new update. On the end, what to say except that let's hope that we will see soon that update on European servers. Thank you for watching the video and if you like it, subscribe to my channel to see more videos in the future. See you soon.